This video is sponsored by ViewSonic. Hi guys, I hope you're well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Sam Spakemore and I'm a teacher here in Dubai. Nowadays, when it comes to learning, you've got blended learning, you've got distance learning, you've got face-to-face -face learning, and then you've got the learning that the children do on their laptops. Now, when it comes to all those different things, I use Google Slides every single day. And as a result, I've used a range of different Chrome extensions with my learners, but also myself, to try and make my Google Slides a bit more presentable, a bit more exciting for the learners. So within this video, what I wanted to speak about is all the different Google Slides extensions that I use to make creating my Google Slides that little bit more enjoyable and exciting. I'm gonna split this into two separate videos. The first one is going to look at a range of different extensions for when you come to create Google Slides. And the second one is going to look at a range of different Google Slides extensions for when you come to teach using Google Slides. If you want to see that second one, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post that one. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So I can't wait to show you a range of different extensions for creating Google Slides. As you'll see, I've made a Google Slides for showing you the extensions for Google Slides. It makes sense. Now, you'll see that this has a very specific aesthetic. And the reason I've got that is because I've been using Slides Go, which is a fantastic website full of a range of different free templates. So make sure to check that one out for your learning. Now, let's jump straight into how you would access these Google Slide extensions. Now we have two different types. We've got the add-ons that I'll show you in a second, and then we've also got our extensions. And to add both, you need two different types of websites. So we've got our Chrome Web Store for our extensions, as you can see up here. And then to find them, you would just go into the search, search the ones that you want, and then you'd find what you need. So we've got breakout rooms, and then we can add that to Chrome, which makes it pop up along here. From there, then we can identify a range of different extensions here, and then we can manage our extensions in this section here. To add our add-ons, we need to go into the Google Workspace Marketplace, and then you'll be able to search a range of different add-ons that I tell you about within this video. So let's jump straight into the first one. And of course, it has to be Bitmoji because I've created a range of different videos on Bitmoji. And if you're unaware of what you can do with Bitmoji, I use it more often than not to give stickers, as I'll show you now, for when the children have completed their work and it's personalized to you. So if I wanted to point to something, I could do that, or I can just search, well done, and something popped up there. And then I can drag and drop that in, resize it, and then I can copy and paste that across the different pieces of work if I want to. You can also create Bitmoji classrooms, which is effective for giving that personalized element if you're still doing distance learning and things like that. So I've got a range of different videos showing you different things that you can do with Bitmojis. I've got a whole playlist to be fair, so feel free to check that one out. The next one is Giphy. Now, Giphy is a fantastic extension that allows you to access a range of different GIFs. Now, with GIFs, it is fantastic, but you need to make sure you pick sensible ones. So if I type in, again, a praise one, well done, then you'll see a range of different GIFs come up here. So I can drag and drop the, the clapping one in, and you'll see that pops up. But you might just want to get rid of the text here. And you can obviously make it smaller. Or if I wanted to make something a bit more interesting within a lesson, then I could put I could uh, drag and drop those in. There's there's a range. There's a real range that you can use within your lessons, and you can resize them. You can reorder them if you wanted them to go a little bit backwards against uh, other things. Same as you can do with Bitmoji. So we could go into the order, change the order, rotate if you wanted to. Uh, all the different things that you can do with Bitmojis. So I'll <laughs> drag and drop this one over now into there. And there we can see Giphy, which is a really useful add-on for just adding that fun flair to your lessons. Next one is Unsplash. Unsplash is absolutely phenomenal and gives you the access to a range of different non-copyright stock photos, which is fantastic. Now you'll see I've got blank along the sides here because I'm hopefully going to show you how you can add a range of different photos in. So let's start off by tapping this and you'll see I've already searched YouTube. If I want to define something along the lines of my sport, which is basketball, then you can see a range of different things here. Now you can just simply drag and drop those images in and you'll see they come up really clean. They're really high quality photos that you can just use for free. 
and there's a real range. Uh, I've got an art teacher with me at the moment who needs additional photos for art and needed to use daffodils. So if I type in daffodils, you can see a range of different daffodils pop up here and I can again drag and drop those in. And as you can imagine, I could make this look extremely pretty, full of different photos. And I can only say thank you really to Unsplash for giving us a, a range. I think there's a million plus photos from a range of different photographers and things like that from around the world. Move straight onto the next one, and that is insert icons. Now there's a range of different insert icons. You've got Noun Project as well, which is an honorable mention. Uh, to access those, you actually need to go into the add-ons. So you'll need to find this one a little bit differently. Uh, you've got a couple. I just click the one that's easiest to access. So I put in sidebar, and you'll see these icons start to pop up. Now, this works really well because you can just search, basically. If we've got insert icons and I wanted photo, if I want to just add something in, all I need to do is click on that icon and it will pop up, ready for you to just move about and then drag and drop it in as you need to. And that's pretty simple. If you need to change the color, you can of course change the color around and then you'll click it again and add a different color in. Now, as you can see, the, it's quite difficult to pick that exact color by clicking on here and you'll see a different code that comes up here. So the next extension that is really useful is the, is the color picker. Now, the color picker is a really effective add-on. What we do from here is just tap on this circle. Now you can see it's not the right color. So to change it to a color that we want it to be, what we can do is identify the color using the color picker extension. We call it colorzilla and then pick color from page. And then as you can see up in the corner, just up here, the color changes as and when we identify the color that we want. From there, you can see it's copied and then we go into the color picker and then we can add a new color, paste that in and you can see it's picked up there. From there, we just press okay and it's just changed it straight away. Now, the reason I've got this one straight after the icons is because that exact code can then be pasted into here and you can see all the different icons are now that color too. So that's an additional hack to match the theme. So then if I went onto this one, then I could drag and drop any that I needed to. So we've got color picker, or I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I can just pick an arrow in and then add that icon in and change the size as I need to. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. The next album was meant to be Equat.io, but that has now turned into a premium subscription service. So I'm not gonna recommend that to you. I can, however, recommend our sponsors who are free. In my opinion, ViewSonic are the perfect sponsors for today's video. They create a fantastic learning platform called My Viewboard. My Viewboard is something that I've spoken about extensively on this channel before, but it's something that I really do use every single day. Their standard version is free up until June 2021, and within that package, there's a range of different features that I love. I simply enjoy being able to import Google Slides straight into the My Viewboard using their pen and rubber to be able to annotate, which makes it far easier for me to be able to model learning. Their wood pad is a fantastic drawing pad that allows you to write onto My Viewboard a lot easier. Their touchscreen monitors are fantastic too, which allow me to use my finger to draw straight onto the My Viewboard. Additionally, if I have distance or blended learners, I'm also able to screen record my teaching so that if I want to share it with my learners, I'm able to do that too. They've now introduced the immersive reader feature. For example, if you type something out, you're able to select all of the different text and then the immersive reader feature will then allow them to hear that text back through being read out to them and then that can be translated. You can identify nouns, adjectives, verbs within their software too. Another powerful feature within the premium version that I've shared before is the huddle. The huddle allows you to invite learners into the My Viewboard software through a link. Now, what I love is that they've added a security feature so that only individuals that you want to add in are able to join, which is extremely powerful. They're also able to have their own whiteboards so that you can ask questions and then see what their responses are. I love that you're able to link up your camera with my viewboard so that the children are able to see you as you're explaining something to them too. Thank you very much to ViewSonic for sponsoring the video.
So let's come back to Equation Editor, which is a free add-on. And we can find it here within our add-ons. Now, if we put text to image, so then once you've opened up the sidebar, what you can do is then start to look at adding in your equation. From there, what you would then do is copy and then just simply paste into here, which is a little bit blurry, but it would still be accessible for your pupils. From there, let's move on to Extensus Fonts. Extensus Fonts is fantastic for accessing a range of different fonts. Now I can find their logo, so I've actually used Extensive Fonts to find a range of different fonts. So let's go onto our add-ons and go on to start, and then you'll see a range of different fonts start to pop up. Now there's all the different fonts along here, and you can see there's a, a real range. So if I wanted to change that, I'd highlight it and just click the font that I wanted to have it as. Have it as a caveat. And what I love is there is a real range of different fonts. Cute font. And then from there, what I like is that when we look at our fonts, those then start to pop up in here too. Number eight is Magic Rainbow Unicorn. Now, I was reluctant to share this one with you guys. However, I do believe that some people out there will find this useful. I know what primary is like for a range of different colors. I know that my children would enjoy it, so I'm going to show you it. You'll find it here within the add-ons, and I'm just going to press start, and you'll, it will pop up. Basically, what this does is it's changing your font to, uh, it changes the, I'll just show you. I'm going to highlight the text, and I'm going to press start rainbow magic. Ta-da! And I have rainbow text. If I wanted to change it to highlighter, then I could do that. I'll just do that now. And now I have a rainbow highlighted text as well as rainbow text. Now, to be fair, it is far easier to do this than change every single letter. You can imagine it, it would take a long time. So this is there. Uh, you've got a range of different shades. You can start with a certain color and end with a certain color. It is what it is. If it's useful for you, then please let me know down in the comments. The last one that I'm going to show you is this slides toolbox. Now let's click off this and let's go into the add-ons for the slides toolbox. Just gonna open the free version. And then what I like about this is it opens and shows a range of different tools just on the side and it makes uh, things for creating Google Slides a little bit more accessible. So if we look at object tools, we can look at a range of different things for our objects. If we look at arrangement tools, then we've got a range of different arrangement tools. Removal tools is quite useful if you have a shape that you need to try and get rid of certain lines on. My favorite new tool is the slide order tool where you can then shuffle the slides. I'm a little bit reluctant to do that, but this would be really good if you have a range of quick fire questions that you wanna shuffle for the pupils, or for example, if you've got a range of different phonics that you just need to shuffle around. And that brings me to number 10, to what have I missed? What do you think I have missed from this video? Comment down below and share your favorite add-ons too. Hopefully you found that video useful and found a range of different extensions that you haven't heard of for your Google Slides creation. Now, if you think I've missed out any other Google Slides extensions, feel free to comment them down below. If you are new to the channel and you're excited to see the Google Slides Teach extensions, then make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bells so that you're alerted when I post. Again, a huge thank you to our sponsors, ViewSonic, for sponsoring the video. Hopefully, I will see you in the next one, but until then, I'm out.